Hey guys, I know we're supposed to be live right now, but the internet is not cooperating at all. I have no idea what's going on, but uh, we'll get it figured out another day, but right now I'm tired of fighting with it. So we're just gonna do a video. It was for the live to show our auction haul. We're still gonna do that. We're still gonna take a tour of the store. It's just gonna be pre-recorded, okay? If you're joining us from Facebook, Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment telling us where you're watching from. Go ahead and follow us if you're not already. If you found us on YouTube, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when we download a new video, upload a new video, I'm sorry. And give us a comment and tell us where you're from. Check out our other videos, especially if you like painting furniture videos and other things, and check those out. All right, so let's just get jump into it so this video isn't real long. We're gonna show you some of the things we got from auction the other day. And uh, if I seem a little uptight, I am, but technology is great when it works right. Let's get started. All right, first we got this great antique cabinet there. Look at that thing. I mean, got its keyhole. It had a key at one time, but the guts aren't in it. There's fantastic. Somebody like lemon and lime. It's got these little hooks down here to latch this door right here. But we also got those milk glass items, you see how they pop when they're put in dark cabinet like that? And that's why we don't paint a lot of the inside of our cabinets, even when we paint the outside. You put that lighter farmhouse style stuff in there, it just kind of makes it pop, whether it's white, greens, blues, they just show up really well with the dark background. I think you guys have already been seeing pictures of this thing. This thing is beautiful. Tiger oak in great shape. Obviously these knobs are not original, but it's a great piece. All right, we also got this. We have no idea what this used to be. If you guys know what it used to be, let us know in the comments. Um, it is from the 1800s. On the back, I examined it today real carefully. It's got all square head nails. And even though they're the same size of nails, the heads of them are all different. Right there. And you can see how that thing has been beat on a lot. Okay, so it's from the 1800s. They quit using um, the handmade nails about the 1880s when they really started getting into manufacturing the nails and just cutting them off of wire. All right, most of you have probably already seen that. We did a video on this. We haven't posted it yet because we lost some of the footage. We lost the footage of putting on the transfer and the handles but my bride did a wonderful job on that leave her a nice comment she did great but you see once again how we left the inside of that dark and it just makes everything pop that you put in there all right let's go over here to the table for a little bit we got some cool stuff got some of these old magazines from the 1940s Cool graphics on them. If you like tobacco tins and scar boxes, uh, these are great collection pieces. Some of them actually have tobacco in them. Of course, we can't give that away or sell it. It's illegal. But these are some cool tins. They're in good shape. Graphics are really good if you're into that kind of stuff. There was a full cigar in this one, but we have to dispose of it. We don't smoke and uh, we can't give it to somebody. These are cool display pieces. 
You've heard the joke about Prince Albert in a can. You better let him out. Okay, so you guys see this. This is really cool. These knobs, we got a collection of those. But these fans, who remembers using these fans? I do. I used them in the 60s and 70s. They were given out church. Look at that phone number. Phone number 8. That was a long time ago. Got the Ten Commandments of how to get along with people. I think I'll post a picture of that a little later. Some really cool graphics on these. Once again, look at that phone number. Tilton Store. There's another great one. The Dion Quintuplets School Days. I don't know who they were, but they were popular back then. They had a fan. A modern air conditioned ice refrigerator, ice cubes in only five minutes. That's cool too. How to play safe. Once again, a one digit phone number. Wow. I'm amazed on that. I am absolutely fascinated with phone numbers like that. Alright, we got some things. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do this one handed. In good shape. It's got great patina on the handle. Got a strainer. This has beautiful colors. It's in great shape. We'll clean it up a little bit more. So we found these pigs. They're all banks. They're actually made in Japan. Got six of them all together. Here's some great collection of stuff. Got some tin lids to peanuts that you can use as a coaster. Oh, these are really great. These are salt and pepper shakers from American Airlines. That's before everything went disposable. Pears in great shape. Got some political pins, red cross pin, another red cross pin, somebody's old watch. I don't know if you're into watches or not, but Lucerne, never heard of it. Cool lock, don't know if you're into that kind of stuff or not. We've got some great display pieces. We do we call it chickens, cow tin, got some more chicken tins and more pig tins. Got two great shelves right here. They're metal. They are solid. We're going to clean them up a little bit more. They were really nasty and covered in dirt. Okay, we got I'll do this one-handed. Sorry about that. Bear with me. Sorry about that. I'm trying to make you dizzy. All right, comes with this. And you just hang that like that. Comes on this board right here. You can just hang it on the wall. Oh, forgot to show you the lazy horse. Looks kind of sickly. Well, he's a sad horse. He needs a happy home. Acquired this. Uh, if you have somebody who does reloading in your family, they may be interested in this. There is nothing plastic on this. It is solid metal. I don't know how old it is or what you do with it, but it has something to do with reloading. Found some great platters. This is just one of them. Got a bunch of different dividers here. Doesn't have any chips. No flea bites. If you're into trophies, hey, look at this. You could be the 1983 PCC Championship. 
or if you're a golfer, you could be the men's handicap Prescott Country Club second place. Got a great jar there, open top, fit a lot of cool stuff. We got some vintage lanterns there. These do not have any damage at all. Indiana Carnival glass. They're in great shape. They look great in any display. Got some of these old magazines. Gags from 1951. Well, let's look at one of them. These are cool. We got about three or four of them. All right, we just picked this up. Got several of these in. $37. Found this beautiful old suitcase. It, although it has water stains, they are old and it was rescued early on because it does not have an odor or anything. It's, it's pretty clean. We were surprised. But it's a great display piece. You can put your fat anything in it. Put it in your room for storage. It's a great piece. I think you've already seen some of this furniture we put in. But let's start our shop tour right here. It's our t-shirt selection. Oh, you guys see this. I'm sorry. Getting ahead of myself here. This is my bride setup. She has a knack for doing displays. She's not quite finished in here, almost. Don't forget to look up when you come in. Got some great cookie jars here that are vintage. Great chicken right there. Go with any farmhouse decor. our kitchen section just got these coffee racks in I think we showed you this in the other live I'm not sure I know we showed these in the other live we just got a whole bunch of new windows in I'm going to take you over there and show you that here in just a minute we got that big picture at auction. We got that chair at auction. Perfect shape. Still got its original casters and everything. But it is dainty. Let's go this way. See any treasures yet? Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what types of things you like to see at flea markets. Tell us what you think of what you're seeing right now. And once again, I am so sorry that we are not live like we're supposed to be. But it can't be helped. The internet was grouchy tonight. Now these are all what we call bits and pieces. They're only a dollar. That's all our scrap wood. My bride stencils them and she does a great job. If you need a hanky, 
who remembers the hankies let us know in the comment my mother used these kind of hankies and we had to use them as kids and then she washed them <laughs> now some of the millennials right now are just yuck that's gross Oh, now you guys see this. These hats right here. We got. Give us a thumbs up. Remember this. I painted this not long ago. This whole set. Look at these old hats. Aren't those cool? Got the original box with it. Got the original hat stand. You like books? We've got books and check this out right here. Looky there. Paperbacks 50 cents, hardbacks only one dollar. Can't beat that. We sell the heck out of those books. Look at those beautiful table set right there. Got that at auction. This is going to be my next project right here. One of them. Just got one bad handle right there. So we'll figure that out and get that painted up. Got some great candlesticks that we got at auction. We got more of these in. I don't think we got any white ones because they were out of them. But we'll show you those here in just a little bit. This is what we call the man booth. Look there. You could claim to have caught a whopper. I'm sure you saw some of these trophies on our last live there's the one if you remember the trophy that had the arm the doll arm on it that's it we found the top to it we glued it back on it's not as scary now is it got maps if you're into old maps Who remembers these roller skates? Boy, those were hard on your feet. All right, guys, pay attention. Look at these tools. Check this out. Look at this price. 50 cents, 50 cents. All right. We got the horde of screwdrivers, Phillips, flathead, ice picks, 50 cents. We're in the bottles, we got some of those. This is gonna be a project too. We are going to, since somebody already took all the radio guts out of it, we are just gonna take that out, put shelves in it, paint it, it's gonna be beautiful. All right, this is one of our vendor's booths. This is one of our vendors. She's coming to restock this week. This is one of our vendors. This is one of our vendors. This is one of our vendors.
All right, now this hutch right here is beautiful. Somebody put fabric on the back of it, which it's not bad, but we're gonna leave it as is for now. It's a good backdrop. This is one of our vendors. We got some great Christmas stuff on sale. Look at that. 50% off. 50% off. You need a Christmas truck? Get it now while it's cheap. this get you some cutting boards seven dollars each while they last got a little bit for everybody here all right let's go to the other barn take a look there Kind of a mess right now because we haven't had a lot of time to take care of it. We had some high winds today, and I think it knocked a few things over. Nothing major, nothing really breakable over there. Let's get over there and check it out. I don't think I showed you the front of it. Cute little hutch. We'll paint that up too. Don't forget, this next weekend, all right, let's go. It's going to be a little dark. Turn on your flashlights. There we go. Our chickens are awake. And that's what I'm talking about, the high winds today. Almost there. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, we got some chickens knocked over there. We've got old doors. This is the screening that's going up both sides. And then this can have a door on it, and that's going to have a door on it. All right. Here we got some metal art. Shutters, who likes shutters? Wind. Old screens. Just miscellaneous stuff over here. If you guys can hear the frogs or not, they're sounding off pretty good tonight. Let's have a look over here. Some good DIY furniture right here, if you're into that. Some old ladders, those are good displays. great heaters these actually work who remembers those on their grandparents house or their great parent great grandparents house I do my grandmother had a screened in porch with those on there here's some of the newer stuff we got in pardon our mess we're redoing this wall back here all right so we got all these kind of windows in these are 
really good sellers. And you got these. All right, look at these. Let me show you these. They're kind of hidden back here. All right, these right here, they are cup holders. I guess you can really hang anything on there. You could hang this on your front entryway, use these for keys or something like that. But they call them mug holders. They're well built out of metal. There's the plant stands I was talking about. They didn't have white this time. Look at these flamingos. Aren't they cute? Got some dough bowls in. Some big ones. Some wide ones. Some skinny ones. Now these are unique. We've never had these before. These were a new product they were offering. You got the taller ones and some shorter ones. These are about four foot or so. The other ones are about three. We got our big foots in, Sasquatch, whatever you want to call them. Got our trucks in, that one with a windmill. Got some little trucks. This is cool. Here, let me get a better shot of this one. If you're into Jack Daniels, I guess. Here's a Jack Daniels truck. Got a truck there with a canoe on the back of it. Let's see what that says. We just got these in. Gone fishing. All right, we got some bicycle planters there. And these are really good sellers. The Flamingos riding bikes. We've got more Razorbacks in. We got some D welcome signs. We got this great, I think this was used at an airport. I'm not sure, but I think that's where they attached them all together. This thing is great. It rolls good. It has great vintage look. Short ladders, some table tops. We'll build tables out of. All right, guys. Let me look at you. Sorry about that. We wanted to go live and we are going to try again uh, probably after the sale sometime when we get back from our next sale. But we look forward to seeing you this coming weekend. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Tell us where you were watching from. And we'll see you next time. Have a great evening.